Hello everyone, most intros are in fact trash, so let's just get straight into the review. Hereditary is the debut feature from director Ari Aster. This horror movie follows the fallout of a death in the Graham family. That is all you get. Unlike Chris fucking Stuckman, I'm not gonna ruin your experience by over explaining the plot. This review will have zero spoilers in it, so don't get your dick in a twist. In most horror movies, there tends to be a consistent problem of writing good characters. This is in part due to the incompetency of horror writers, as well as studio executives understanding shitty quickly written movies with shallow characters generally make a decent profit. Hereditary doesn't have this problem in the slightest. For some reason, Ari Aster is a gift from God himself before the impending nuclear fire we face, simply due to how well these people are written. While every single individual in Hereditary is fantastically created with multiple dimensions and interesting facets to highlight is the mother. She is without a doubt one of the best horror protagonists in a long while. Everyone feels like a real person. I simply became immersed in how these people were to change throughout the movie. Also, if you're wondering how much of Hereditary's penis I'm going to have in my mouth throughout the review, you may be saddened to hear the answer is all of it. Every aspect of Hereditary, including the characters, are enhanced through the use of dialogue. The writer slash director Ari Aster knows when to show, not tell, and when to use dialogue effectively. Both of these aspects, the characters and the dialogue, are made even more nutworthy through the incredibly captivating performance performances. Nothing in this movie would work without an excellent job from every single member of the cast and safe to say the mission was accomplished. Almost. There is one child actor who has one line that is not fucking good. It's not as bad as the Bye Bye Man Kid, but it is in fact shit. Please pour some Drano down your anal cavity if you have any problem with me nitpicking this movie a bit. Besides that, I only ask you to look out for a handful of scenes that have some of the best acting I've seen all year. A dinner table scene, a scene in a car with the son and daughter, and a scene with the mother at a group event. I kept those intentionally vague because you need to enjoy these events with almost no prior information. I would be inclined to say the mother and young daughter had standout performances, but that implies the other son and the father did lesser work, which is simply not anywhere close to being true. The narrative of Hereditary is wonderful for the first two acts. The movie handles its exposition with an enormous amount of talent. I never felt like the writer was being lazy with his building of the setting, the people, and events. The second act is somehow even better due to how well the buildup for the third act is. The tone throughout, especially in these first two acts, is damn near perfect. You may be noticing I'm avoiding the third act, and that's because it's just good not great. My biggest issue is the end of the film. The ending feels very condescending due to an over-explanation of the events that have taken place. I go to movies to escape the reality that this will be my third year repeating my freshman year of high school. Another highlight is the incredible pacing. With most movies, even ones I like, I have a tendency to check the time. Not once did I ever look at my watch. This is also considering I have to take my medicine every two hours or I'll go into cardiac arrest and I definitely didn't take any pills before the start of the movie. My only problem from a narrative aspect is a scene in a classroom involving a bird. It made me laugh unintentionally. There's also a problem with the foreshadowing being a bit too blatant and lazy, leading things to become a bit predictable. It's nothing outright awful though. Besides Upgrade, this has some of the most stunning camera work, lighting, and cinematography of the year. Almost every single frame is like a fucking painting. So much time, effort, money, and planning went into some of these shots, it's almost dumbfounding. The use of lighting is always used to enforce the mood and atmosphere of the scene, and it is always used to great effect. The only negatives I have from the visual side are two very distinct jump scares. One made me laugh my ass off like when me and my friends watch homeless people fight each other for our leftover Arby's, and the other jump scare made me almost out loud say fuck you. Besides that, the actual horror is genuinely frightening and fantastic. It may have one of the most disturbing scenes in the last 10 years of cinema. All in all, Hereditary is an absolute delight, and discounting my problems with some of the third act and foreshadowing, it has the potential to be considered the best horror movie of the year. I would give Hereditary a 9 out of 10. I would recommend this movie to people whose wieners start to squirm whenever they see excellent cinematography, and to people who enjoy hiding in their girlfriend's breasts so they don't have to see the scary things. I have some social media on the screen. Subscribe, hit the bell, farewell.